Hello class, welcome to electrical circuits one. We're still on the basic laws and this time, having gone through all these six topics, I'll be giving you the summary of the things that we have learned. First is that a resistor is a passive element in which the voltage across it is directly proportional to the current through it. A resistor obeys the Ohm's law, that is V is equal to IR, where R is the resistance of your resistor. Second, a short circuit is a resistor that is a uh, perfectly conducting wire, okay, uh, modeled as a perfectly conducting wire for a short circuit. It's a resistor with zero resistance. So that is R is equal to zero, so short circuit. Um, third, an open circuit is a resistor with infinite resistance. That is R is equal to infinity. The conductance of a resistor is the reciprocal of its resistance. So G is just equal to 1 over R. Fifth, a branch is a single two-terminal element in an electrical circuit. Sixth, a node is the point of connection between two or more branches. A loop is a closed path in a circuit. This is the, um, the number of branches the number of nodes and the number of independent loops in a network are related as B is equal to L plus N minus one, okay? Um, Kirchhoff's current law or KCL states that the currents at any node algebraically sum to zero. In other words, the sum of the currents entering a node equals the sum of currents leaving the node. Kirchhoff's voltage law, or KVL, states that the voltages around a closed path algebraically sum to zero. In other words, the sum of voltage rises equals the sum of voltage drops. Two elements are in series when they are connected sequentially end-to-end. -end. When elements are in series, the same current flows through them. That is, I1 is equal to I2 if you have R1, R2 in series. Two elements are in parallel if they are connected to the same two nodes. Elements in parallel always have the same voltage across them. So if you have R1 and R2 connected in parallel, then the voltage across R1 and R2 are just equal. When two resistors, R1, which is equal to 1 over G1, and R2 are in series, their equivalent resistance and equivalent conductance are this one, this expression, R equivalent is just equal to their sum. But the equivalent conductance is equal to G1, G2 over G1 plus G2. When two resistors, R1 and R2, are in parallel, their equivalent resistance and equivalent conductance are, so R equivalent is equal to R1, R2 over R1 plus R2, G equivalent is equal to G1 plus G2. So as you can see, when they are when the two resistors are in series and when the two resistors resistors are in parallel, so the formula are the same. They have the same form. Okay. Ay, nagbailo day, nagbailo. Okay. Then the voltage division principle for two resistors in series is ang, ang kung natay ang katong atong source voltage nga V, then natay duha ka resistor, so V1 is just equal to R1 over R1 plus R2. And V2 is equal to R2 over R1 plus R2 times V. Okay, showing nga, uh, ang ato ang voltage drop is directly proportional to our resistance value. Okay. So, kung mas dako ka resistance, mas, mas, mas dako ka resistance, resistance value ang resistor, then dako ang voltage drop across ana. 16, the current division principle for two resistors in parallel is I1 is equal to R2 over R1 plus R2 times I. I2 is equal to R1 over R1 plus R2 times I. That is, so this shows that sa current division, magkadako ang imuhang, um, kung dako ang imuhang resistance value, okay, mas gamay ang current nga mo agi anak nga resistor. Or, pwede po nga, ang current ng muagyan ng resistor is inversely proportional sa resistance niya. Okay? So, I1 is inversely proportional to R1. I2 is inversely proportional to R2. 
The formulas for a delta to y transformations are ato ang atong taken to at a time ang katong tulo na nasa imuhang delta ng mga resistors taken to at a time then i other than ima ang katong ang mga resistors imuhang delta okay then kung y to delta pod ka I don't know, sorry, sorry. Ang katong ganina di ay, kung delta to y, ang adjacent, duha ka adjacent nga sides. Okay? Ang duha balik adjacent resistors ni R1. Okay? That's RB and RC over the sum of the um, three resistors yung mga delta. Pero kung y to delta ka, atong taken to at a time. Ang tulo ka resistors yung mga y, ang product ato nila taken to at a time so R1, R2, R2, R3, R3, R1 divided by ang katong at bang niya nga resistor okay and that's it for the summary thank you